In 2025, the Dodge Ram Charger is coming out. And the reason why this is big news is there's companies that are Chinese called BYD Shark 6. And this vehicle, the Shark 6, is a generator type of car, you know, truck. And it has a uh, power bank system that's electric, electric motors, and a generator that recharges the power bank. And nobody's done this yet until 2025 when the Dodge Ram Charger comes out. The reason why this is big is that, you know, Ford F-150 Lightning, it came out and it's pure electric. And the issue with those is the range. You know, you're very limited on how much battery to range you can get on a truck because a truck is a heavy, heavy vehicle. And without a generator being on board, these vehicles just aren't going to be able to go a long range, especially if you're hauling something because you're hauling something like an RV, your range is going to be cut in half. So, you know, even with the big battery pack, uh, an F-150 Lightning, you're probably going to be lucky to get 150 miles before you have to recharge the entire thing. And then you're going to sit at a, you know, charge station forever. So with the Ram charger coming out, this thing is going to get... Now, it's got a charge station and a gas tank. The gas tank is 27 gallons. And what this means is that the entire range, you're going to get 25.5 miles per gallon. Now, that's leading in the class by far. I mean, this thing is, is awesome. And then if you're driving local, it still has the dual purpose of Local driving, you're going to use your EV only and not the generator and get, you know, awesome uh, cost, you know, benefits from that because you're just going to be driving electric on local runs, you know. I don't know what the range is. It's probably like 80 miles or something on EV only, but um, we'll find out what the data is on that. Now, horsepower, this thing has 660 horsepower, tons of horsepower. Now, what I hope they do is I really hope that they make a work truck version because it's really cool that you have 660 horsepower and dual motors, you know, front and rear, which gives you a four-wheel drive, you know, capability. But we need a work version too where it'll be two-wheel drive and, you know, it's, it's a lot cheaper because you won't have to have the dual motors and just kind of have a, work version two of this because f-150 what they did that was really really good was they created a lightning that was an affordable uh vehicle also you know on the end of affordable anyway you know it, it wasn't you know this hundred thousand dollar truck out there they do have hundred thousand dollar versions of it but they have a cheaper version too and that's what ford did correctly so i hope that ram charger um looks at this and says, hey, we can make this, you know, a work truck too. Now, what the Ram Charger is doing that I think is awesome. And for the RV community, for the towing community, this is awesome. Uh, they have a 14,000 pound towing capacity. This is massive. Uh, I would be afraid, you know, personally to drive uh, pulling a 14,000 pound rig behind a you know, a, a half ton truck, but it says it can do it. And the payload is going to be 2,600, you know, over 2,600 pounds. So it's not quite a half ton anymore. It's not quite a three quarter ton, but it's like right in the middle. And the reason why this is really neat is a lot of RVs that are, uh, uh, fifth wheel RVs, these fifth wheel RVs, they just aren't quite small enough for a half ton truck and a three quarter ton truck is you know kind of overkill for it but a lot of these fifth wheels they uh kind of fall in the middle here and you know there's they say they're half ton truck towable but, but in reality they're not and now with this truck they are half ton you know truck towable so that's going to be a, a huge benefit for this Another cool thing is you can power your house. Now, I know the Ford F-150 Lightning can do this too, but this is a little cool because 
it has a built-in generator. So it has the battery pack and a generator, which gives you a longer uh, time period to power your house. So that's something really cool. It's, it has a battery pack, powers the house. When the battery pack starts to get consumed, then the generator of your truck will kick in to recharge the battery. Battery will then continue to power your house. So it's basically, it's like having an awesome home generator. Now, of course, you know, the gimmicks, you know, touchscreen and all the other, you know, fine amenities. And don't get me wrong, they're not just gimmicks. They're, they're really cool stuff. But I kind of stay out of that market because, you know, everybody has, you know, the giant touchscreen now and all this other stuff. So, you know, it has the cool stuff too. You know, it's nice luxury stuff. But I kind of stay out of that for talking parts because it, you know, everybody does that. Two really cool features are... It has one pedal drive. Now, what I like about one pedal drive is it is very, very simple. You're just, you're not shifting your foot back and forth, back and forth. You just have your foot on the gas in and out, in and out. It's just simple. I know I'm going to get some comments on that, but it's simple. And one of the big, big key benefits is not only because it's heavier and because of the weight of the battery pack and everything, it's going to make it ride very, very smooth. And it's even going to ride smoother because it has all-wheel independent suspension. And we know that, you know, those solid axles in the rear of the old trucks, uh, they're great, you know, truck, you know, axles. But the independent suspension has come a long way, you know, for being reliable, being tough and durable. And... That's just something cool. It's, it's going to have independent suspension for better, uh, you know, softer ride suspension. So that's pretty much it for this. And like I said, the the big benefit is this is going to be a uh, truck that's a, you know, recharge. It's going to be a generator. Now the generator is not hooked to the drivetrain at all, which I think is awesome. They should have done this a long time ago. And as I said. The Chinese market is doing this. They're not in the American market yet, but they will be one day. And at least the Ram Charger made something to be very, very competitive to this. And hopefully they can scale this down for their smaller trucks. You know, the Jeep Gladiators and stuff like that. So hopefully they can scale it down too. So that's it for this episode. And again, you like what we're doing, please subscribe because you all make it happen.